Hello, my dear friends. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Sarita. So glad that you're joining me today. I have a duo of candles today from the candle company Root, which is in Medina, Ohio. Um, a little while back, I had this enormous haul from Root Candle, which you can find. By the way, you may not know this, but every single video that I have made, I have also put into a playlist. So if you hit playlists on the tab there in my channel, um, all of the videos are subdivided by brand. So if you just look for the Root Candle folder, all of the Root Candle hauls, first impressions, reviews, all of them are there. So if you want to, you can go back and see that haul. I have been systematically working through all those different candles and we are ready for two more in the installment. One of which is Teak and Orchid, Orchid, I'm sorry, not Orchard, Orchid. <laughs> Sometimes I start saying the word and then it becomes orchard before I see that it is a hard CH for orchid. So teak and orchid and it's a kind of lovely dusty lavender color. And then I also have tobacco vanilla right here. And this one was kind of a really soft gray color. So these are the two that I have mostly burned down. I've burned this one down the farthest. As you can tell, I've got like a little bit more wax there. So it didn't go all the way to the wicks clips, but unfortunately I got to this place and was getting puny wicks. And I just said, okay, I think we're done at this point. After a couple burns where it was like, I don't wanna do this anymore. It's either going in the crock or frankly, I've gotten most out of this. I think I did in one burn, clear it all the way to the bottom. So a lot of the fragrance has already left the vessel, as it were. Also, you know these, but these beautiful three wicks from Root, you can just snap the um, lid underneath and it's really pretty. They have really nice lids too. It says Root and it's got this beehive motif because this is beeswax. I believe it's a beeswax blend, but it is a strong beeswax. So let's start out with Lavender Teak. This one I unfortunately started having trouble with a little bit earlier. I would say like maybe a third of the candle is still left, but I've got puny wicks. Um, and as you can see, I have some sooting up here and I also have a little bit of a drag. Um, admittedly, I did have one particular burn <laughs> where I let it go for far too long. And that's when the sooting happened. And after that point, it was like, I killed it. It will not operate after this point. So it could have been like user error, but this one also did develop um, uh, puny wicks. It was considerably through the candle, but it did happen. So these two that that happened for, I don't know if my root candles up to this point have been doing that. Um, or if these two are kind of the first ones, but I don't think all of them that I've burned have done this. So um, Teak and Orchid, I actually bought off of the Root Candle website a long time ago, and it was on sale on clearance, and it still is. So it's $10 for this baby, and I can highly recommend it for $10, for sure. Um, when I smelled it, I bought it because it was $10, and I'm like, well, it's a three wick, ten, um, what is it, 12 ounce? 10 wick, three wick, 12 ounce. It's a good candle. I like teak. Um, I like those woody misses. And so I thought there was a chance that I would like it, and for $10, I sprang for it. Um, on the website, the blurb says, harmonious blend of exotic orchids and delicate violets intertwined with the richness of teak amber, sage, and blonde woods. And yes, please, I will take all of those last four. Teak, amber, sage, and blonde woods. I could take or leave orchids and violets. I don't know that I'm a huge floral person, but yes to all of that final list. When I smelled it though, and it came, and unfortunately, I've just got so much soot in here, I probably should have wiped it off because I'm getting a considerable amount of soot in smelling this. When I initially smelled it, I was like, ooh, I don't really think that I like this. And I would have sent it back, frankly, if I had spent more money on it. But since it was $10 and it may have even been final sale, I was like, oh well, you know? So I have to say that 
for me, it was a little bit like old fashioned and powdery and like floral and like not a way that I really appreciate. There was another purple one that I've burned from theirs and it was some sort of lavender candle. I can't remember if it was French lavender or lavender and something. I'll have to go back. It's in my playlist. Um, I did not like that one and I thought it was super generic. It was like, I might have been a little bit soapy, a little bit like floral, but it just like, yeah, it was like a floral lavender laundry detergent and it just wasn't special on any level. So when I initially smelled this, I was like, oh, here we go again. You know, this is just kind of like a blah candle. And even the first time I burned it, I think it was coming in at like a six and a half. I, you know, the first two burns were just kind of like, I don't even know if I'm really smelling it and what I'm smelling is just kind of like, eh you know, some standard floral that's just not really interesting or even performing on a very strong level. And then the third burn happened and it was like, hello. <laughs> then I was getting everything. I was getting the teak, the amber. I don't know about the sage, but definitely like a woods. Like it was a really dark, deep woods up against like floral. And it was just lovely. It was so nice. I would say that it was really dominated actually by those masculine elements for sure. So it was more of that than it was the floral, but I do think the floral dimension kind of like softened it a little bit. Um, otherwise it just would have been like almost kind of going in a cologne direction. What with the amber and the wood, the floral kept it kind of in an okay, like more intriguing space. Um, and I, for the most part, burned it back in the master bathroom, which filters into the bedroom. And I keep the French doors closed and usually burn something else in the front of the house. So then there's like this barrier and I would open those French doors and it was like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, I would say by the third burn and it, start, it started really picking up. And I noticed that like the longer that I burned it, so we went into like the second hour. The second hour was even more intense than the first one. If you got to a third hour, it was like, I would say maybe an eight and a half, like heading to nine, like it was impressively strong. And if you like the woods kind of vibe, I think you would like this candle for sure. Don't love how it performed here. Um, but that may have been partly me. I think once I let it go for like five hours, maybe a little bit more, <laughs> I just, I just lost sense of time. It was stuck back there and then the disaster happened and it broke after that. It just refused to do anything. So I would recommend it and I would recommend it at $10 for sure. I know it is still available on the Root website um, for $10. So I'll link that information down below. I have not seen this though at other retailers recently. So it may just, they just may have a stash of them that they're trying to get through. If you're putting forward an order on um, Root.com and you like wood. <laughs> this might be a really beautiful one to kind of pick up and a good one for this season. A little bit different, doesn't have apple in it, doesn't have pumpkin or cinnamon or any of those things. So yeah, I recommend it. I don't know that I would buy it again. It kind of looks like it might be going away anyway, but if it was a good price, I would. It's fine, yeah. Um, it's better than that other one that I, that was like the other purple one. Okay. Tobacco vanilla is the one that all of you are going to love. If you are a gourmand person, I want you to run, do not walk to your retailer or to your computer to get this candle. It will blow your mind and shake your world. It is incredible, yeah? Um, so this is tobacco vanilla and it's been around for a while and it's one of the very loved root candles. So for those that um, burn and buy root candles on a regular basis, tobacco vanilla is considered one of their strongest and one of their most popular candles and as I've discovered for very good reason. So tobacco vanilla, uh, the blurb says, earthy combination of tobacco leaves, pine, patchouli, and oak moss, mingle with smoky notes of burnt caramel, sugar, and marshmallow. And um, unlike the blurb that I just read for teak and orchid, um, 
which actually makes a great deal of sense once the scent gets going. Like almost all of those things you can somewhat identify. <laughs> Here in this candle, it does not smell the way that the blur gives you. So um, the earthy combination of tobacco, pine, patchouli, and oak moss are definitely my vibe. And that was what I was hoping was going to be the predominant um, fragrance of the candle, or at least like 50% of it. No, just literally scratch out all of that. <laughs> I, you will not smell any of that, at least to my nose, once it's burned. Now, on cold, now I don't know if I can even smell it. I don't, I can't even smell it now on cold. But when I first got the candle and I smelled it on cold, if I smelled deep, I could smell the tobacco. It was a sweet tobacco and it was up against a lot of other sweet vanilla things, but there was a hint of tobacco. Once it started burning, that went by the wayside. So I, to my nose, cannot smell tobacco leaves, pine, patchouli, or oak moss. I mean, it's just out. If any of those was in this candle, that would definitely undermine its gourmandiness and would probably make me love it even more. Um, I do love it though, for which is pretty impressive given that it's just a through and through gourmand. So the things that you are gonna smell are those bottom notes. Um, burnt, smoky notes of burnt caramel, sugar, and marshmallow. That is what this candle is. <laughs> So if you like burnt caramel, it's not burnt like in a scalded way, but like a roasted caramel, if you like sugar, if you like marshmallow, and if you like vanilla. Vanilla is not listed on here, but it is a lot of vanilla. It is so much vanilla, but it is roasted and caramel. And to be perfectly honest, to me, it smells like a fried and toasted vanilla donut. That's what it smells like. So I actually smell like a bakery component. So the smoke that you're smelling, it's not really smokiness per se, but there is something like heat sensitive <laughs> that's coming across as like a fried donut. It is almost a bakery note. And I don't think that the bakery note actually has to do with a scent fragrance because I have noticed with root candles that I smell this quote unquote bakery note in a lot of candles of theirs that have nothing to do with anything gourmand. And for my nose, make it gourmand where it necessarily shouldn't be. And I'm tempted to say that it is nothing about the fragrance, that it might be the beeswax that I'm smelling. So beeswax, it does have a certain kind of smell. And um, I looked it up too, I'm like, what does it smell like? Does it smell like donuts? <laughs> so many candles of theirs where I'm like, and it's a donut, whatever else it is. This is a pumpkin spice candle and a donut. <laughs> um, this is tobacco vanilla and a donut. Um, it does beeswax smell like a donut. No, I mean, it's supposed to smell like honey or something like that, which makes sense given the honeycomb. And I don't know that I've ever, well, maybe I've smelled beeswax before, but I would imagine too that every beeswax has its little nuances as well. Just like honey has its nuances, um, given the various, the different factors that go into what pollinated, you know, the, the bees pollinated what flowers or who knows what else, yeah? So I wonder if the beeswax formula that they are using and whatever they're mixing it with um, lends itself to a bakery kind of note or something that's toasted. Um, and kind of feels like an organic, possibly grain-like quality. I don't know, I really don't. I know I sound like a crazy person saying this, but there are many of these root candles that have, I've actually been saying that it's like a devil's food cake, like a chocolate donut. It's not just a donut, it's kind of like a really moist, like chocolate donut kind of vibe. Um, here, um, because the candle is so strongly vanilla, it just kind of comes across like a vanilla donut or like an old fashioned or something like that. Yeah? <laughs> but that smoky like roasted dimension is giving it like a fried donut kind of vibe. So if you're a gourmand person and you love fried donut candles, <laughs> and I know so many of you are in that category, 
get this candle. This one, like the teak one, started out kind of like, I would say the first burn was kind of like a seven, a six and a half. Might have done that again for like one burn, maybe two burns. By the time it hit three and four, it was like, it was so loud. Again, it got up into that eight rate region at least, maybe 8.5. And for a vanilla candle to amplify like that and still have an authenticity and like an integrity about it, it's really, really impressive. So um, I highly, highly, highly recommend this candle, especially if you're a gourmand person. Even I enjoyed it. Like if this, if I saw this somewhere and it was on sale, even I would think about buying another one and you know what I think about bakery-like notes but it just performed so well and was so delicious. And because even with the fried component, it's a vanilla kind of fragrance, that means it's gonna like mix and blend so well with so many other of your candles, especially the ones in like the fall season. So um, while this is can probably be burned at any time, I think it's really especially beautiful and especially delicious in the fall and autumn kind of months. So yes, please get this. You can absolutely get it on um, Root Candle, their website. Um, but I think you can also get it at Macy's. I've been getting a lot of them at Macy's because they have a tendency to go on sale in a really nice way. Um, and you don't have to pay shipping and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to go ahead and link at least Macy's and the Root Candle website and anything else if I see it. Um, for those of you that would have liked a beautiful tobacco vanilla with notes of pine, patchouli, and oak moss, because that sounds like also a brilliant and amazing candle and probably more in my wheelhouse or in yours I'm sorry this is not it so like if you're looking for that you will probably be disappointed I was a little disappointed too you know because that would have been more my kind of candle but I did discover in the process that this is a brilliant gourmand candle that maybe even some non gourmand people might be able to get behind so Really happy to pass that along with to all of you, and I will catch you in the next one. See you, my friends.